Hi, welcome to the Cooper Cricket Workshop. Today we're going to go through the process of oiling a new cricket bat and also oiling a cricket bat that's been refurbed. So let's get into it. So why do we oil a cricket bat? From the moment the tree is cut down, it goes through um, different phases and gets dried out into the point where it's ready to be made into a bat so it, it can be as big and as light as possible. The drama is that if you don't give it any oil, it will continue to dry out and eventually stop performing. So from the moment we get it a new bat, we really need to give it some oil so that it can have some nourishment to keep it going forward and keep performing as, it, as you want it to. So what do we need to oil it with? Well, we need to oil it with raw linseed oil. So we do sell this, but you can get it at a hardware store. There's two types of linseed oil. One is boiled linseed oil. You don't want to use that because it will dry your bat out. Um, so raw linseed oil is the go. Raw linseed oil won't evaporate uh, like other oils and uh, it'll stay in the bat and absorb into it really nicely. Okay, so let's start with the new bat. So we've just bought it from the shop. It looks great. What do we do first before we knock it in? We need to oil it. And so I use my fingers to apply the oil. Uh, the reason I do that is because when, if I use a rag, I'm not sure how much the rag actually absorbs uh, and how much I'm actually putting on. So I like to use my fingers so I know exactly how much I'm putting on. So what I do is I gra grab the bottle, get the lid and I just fill up the lid. So when I'm gonna put the linseed oil on the bat, I'm looking to put it on all of the exposed bits of willow. So the one, the bits in between all the stickers, on the edges and on the back of the bat. So all we're gonna do now is just dip our fingers in and start rubbing our fingers on the bat. Um, one thing you probably wanna keep uh, handy is a rag or a wet wipe, just so that you can wipe it off your fingers uh, once you're finished. Uh, don't be afraid of getting it on the stickers, but try not to smother the stickers with it. You don't want the oil you know, seeping under uh, because that will affect the adhesion of, of any, any stickers that are on any bat. So um, something to keep in mind. As you're oiling the bat, just roll it back and forth in the light, just to be able to catch any spots that, that you might not have covered. Uh, and also if you put too much oil in one spot and not another, then you can you know, even that out so you've got a nice even coat. Do that on the front and back, um, just to make sure it's, it's nice and even. So now that we've finished oiling, we just need to sit it in a nice, cool, dry place. We can just sit it um, horizontally on a surface, uh, table somewhere uh, or you could you can stand it up and put it in the corner um, just as long as it's in a in a cool dry place not a hot um, dry place uh, and it will take about 24 hours to uh, for it to dry once the oil's dried um, give it another coat and then leave it for another 24 hours um, two coats of oil is exactly what you want okay so the old bat we can do this at the end of the season, start of the season. You can do it any time, mid-season. Whenever you feel like you might need to replace this uh, clear guard and give it a freshen up. So a couple of things to think about. We have to um, get it off easily. Uh, and the best way to do that is to heat it up. Um, heating it up, you can do, we'll do it with a heat gun, but if you don't have one, you can use a hair dryer. It might take a little longer, but, um, but it'll do the same job. We're trying to heat up the adhesion on the uh, clear guard so it comes off as cleanly as possible. If we don't heat it up, you do run the risk of 
pulling it off and also pulling up some willow with it. Um, so heating it up just allows it to come off easily. As you're trying to remove the clear guard, sometimes it comes off really nicely, sometimes it's a pain in the butt. So what we need to do is heat it up and use a paint scraper, you just get these from the hardware store, and scrape it off. So we've tried to heat it and peel it off, we've used the scraper with heat to get it off and we have got the top layer off. Unfortunately with this one, the adhesive layer has stayed on the bat and separated away from the protective top layer. We have to get this off. The only way to do it now is to sand it. Um, this would be really hard if you don't have a um, electric sander um, like we have. We're, we're fortunate enough we can just do that with that. But if you're doing it by hand, um, it, you know, you'll just have to start with a really rough sandpaper just to try and get that off and then work your way up to a, a higher grit um, sandpaper. Okay, so the face is now sanded and we're gonna just take it out of here and just take the stickers off on the edges and sand them down as well. Uh, it's worth noting that if the uh, clear guard had come off cleanly, we'd be up to this stage now. So now they're all done there, we sanded the face and the edges, and we've done that with an 80 grit uh, sandpaper. I'll then move up to 180 grit, and uh, if it was a new bat, I would go all the way up to 320 to give me a nice, really nice even finish. Because this is an old bat and it hasn't had oil on, in it for a long time, uh, I wanna just stay with the 180 um, for this one, only because the 180 will let me um, get more oil into the fibers. The fibers will stay a little bit more open, and uh, they'll allow the oil to penetrate a bit easier. Um, so let's get into that. Okay, so now that we've finished with the um, electric sander, I'm just gonna give it a, a hand sand and I'm just gonna go over the entire bat now. Okay, so we're all done. So now we're ready to give it an oil like we would with the new bat. So we're just gonna wipe all the dust off and get into it. So we're all done. So you wanna just sit this horizontally or stand it up, allow it 24 hours for it to dry. And then um, once that's done, just like the new bat, we give it another coat of oil. You'll notice that when we oiled this, it was 
thirsty, thirsty for moisture. Um, and that's what generally happens with an older bat. So make sure you put plenty in it because it needs moisture. If you were going to apply some clear guard to this bat, um, you'd need to leave it for at least a week, maybe two. Um, what you need to do is wait for the oil to dry. Uh, sometimes the oil can, you know, depending on where it's left and the temperature, it can leave a bit of residue on the surface. And then you put your clear guard on, it won't stick. So you just need to leave it um, and let it dry before you put it on. The general rule of thumb is that if you can smell oil on the bat, then it's all good. If you can't, then it probably needs an oil. If you don't want to peel the clear guard off, then just do all the exposed bits. Give them a sand and do, do all the exposed bits of willow. But, um, but if you want to do it properly, you just follow the steps we've just covered. So the best time to do this is generally a couple of weeks before the season starts. That way you know your bat's full of moisture and ready to go. So we've covered off how to oil a new and an old bat. And if you've got any other questions or comments, throw them in the comments section below and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.